really good. <laughs> Look at her. You match. What do you mean? Oh, check me <laughs> out. Yeah, I did that on purpose. Good morning, you guys. Welcome to today's video. It is obviously going to be a Q and A. Um, this is going to be the last Q and A before the wedding is ten days away. Tomorrow is single digits. That's like crazy. <laughs> Very exciting though. Um, you guys asked a lot of good questions on Instagram, so we're just gonna get right on into it. This is fantastic, by the way. Did you not have it this morning? No. Yeah, that's the hazelnut. No. This time. Um, color scheme. Greenery and white. <laughs> Greenery and white. <laughs> that's very simple. Yeah, very, very simple. Um what is your wedding cake flavor? We have multiple, which I actually need to update you about this. Oh, okay. uh, we were gonna have a three-tiered cake with, in my family, it's like kind of a popular thing. We have this pistachio cake, it's phenomenal. We were gonna make that the bottom layer, chocolate, the middle, and vanilla or white on the top, but it turns out the pistachio won't work at the bottom because there's like a nut layer on the top. <laughs> So she's just gonna make um, little individual ones and then we're having a two-tiered cake with chocolate and white. So they're just gonna be in like little individual dishes kind of like the the pistachio will be. And then just do the pistachio on the top. Because they, they wanted it big and the top was wanted it big? Everyone. Who's everyone? My whole family. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's what we're doing. There's gonna be a pistachio cake all cut up into little pieces to start like and a then little what are the other flavors, sorry? Just chocolate and white. So are they gonna be like bigger? Yeah. Like mm -hmm. tall? Like instead of like three like kind of smaller ones, it's like maybe two bigger ones. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Who knows? How did you write out a timeline for the wedding day? Uh oh for the wedding day? Yeah. Aren't we still waiting on that from yeah, our videographer? It's, yeah, it's not totally set yet. We, I mean, yes, it is up to us to come up with a timeline, but it's a Use lot of vendors. It's a lot of uh, like coordinating between the hair and makeup, the photographer, the videographer, because they all have to coordinate with each other. And our venue came with a coordinator, and she basically laid that out for us like right from the start. Yeah. And every single email I've gotten from her, it has like the breakdown of everything, which made it super easy. One of the reasons we also really like the venue. Um, I'm also getting engagement pictures taken in downtown Columbus. Any advice? Uh, I don't think I have any advice. Depends on how you want them to look. Yeah. Um, I definitely. If you want downtown view, the Scioto Mile was awesome. Yeah, that's where we um, had ours. Lots of good different types of views, so mm -hmm. it was sweet. And like textures, like if you, there was like a whole greenery wall with like you know, it had yeah. like stuff growing up the side of, there, of the building. Which was, it was a lot of fun. Um, but it depends on what you're going for. Yeah. You want like even more downtown look. Then I guarantee they'll actually. have you take it at sunset, but the, I loved the golden hour. Okay. Oh, the pictures turned out so good. Yeah. What are you most excited for the day of? Most excited for the day of? Yeah. So much to be excited for. Um, Tough. Probably just uh, everyone. I mean, a lot of family I haven't seen in a while is coming in. Just seeing everyone and just having a good time. I don't know. That's a, that's a really tough question. Most excited for because it's a it consists of a whole bunch of things. I'm just excited to see it all come together. That's yeah. That's that, that like, too. We've spent a lot of time same. and money on this. Yeah. So much time goes into it, and it's like okay. And not that you want to wish it away, but it's like okay. I just want to see it all. Like we've spent so much time planning all these little details, and it's like I just want to see it come together. So I'm super pumped about that. Um, how long do you plan on waiting before kids? Three years, maybe. Yeah, we kind of we've had a timeline set for all of this for quite a long time. Like we knew we wanted to live together for a year before getting engaged, and then we've always kind of had a rough idea of how many kids we wanted, when we want kids, all that. So yeah, probably three years. Yeah. Yeah. And everything is subject to change, obviously. How life yeah. Is. So, and it's like if we. That'd be sweet though. Three years would be. Yeah. Give us some time to enjoy life, just the two of us. Mm hmm. And then. We're still young. Yeah. We want to travel? Yes. Favorite slash most memorable part of the planning process? Hmm. 
favorite part of the planning process? Or most memorable? I know a lot, a lot of people probably say like picking out the venue. It was literally the first venue and the actually second venue yeah. that I saw. So that part was done in a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. um, so that, I mean, that probably was my favorite part, but. I know it's kind of a hard question. Um, I know mine. Favorite part. Layla, what are you doing? I'd say one uh, one cool part. Um, was picking out songs to be in our playlist. That That's, what gonna, <laughs> That's what I was gonna picking say. That's what I was gonna say. Picking out songs, that was fun, reminiscing. Yeah, it was just the two of us it was sitting on the couch, and yeah, that was definitely my most favorite part, because it's like, oh, what songs were meaningful for us back then, and like, what songs do we think would be good for this and this and this, and I, yeah, that was what I was gonna say was, as well. That was fun. Yeah. Um, what stressed you out the most while planning the wedding? Invitations. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The invitations, that was definitely stressful. We were late on them. Uh, and then they took our fault, and then they took longer than we expected. Yeah. And who we went through for our invitations had some emergency happen, so she wouldn't, she didn't get back to us. Yeah. When we were like urgently needing answers, yeah. so that was stressful. That was very stressful. Um, also stressful is we have a few more people than we anticipated. Um, and the seating chart has been a bit stressful too. I think we finally have it like 99% done. Yeah. Um, so that's good. But yeah, all the little things. I feel it, like. Yeah, it's a lot of the little things. The invitations was definitely one of the big ones. Um, and then it's just, I don't know. There comes a point no matter how amazing your family is, everyone has their opinions. And so it's like, you know, trying to keep it about what means the most to us, but also, you know, including things yeah. that mean a lot to other other people. So that can get stressful, yeah. but the invitation is probably the biggest one. How did you pick the venue? Looking for Seabus now for mine. You have to decide what theme you're going for first. So once you decide like what look you want, then that will significantly narrow down the venues that are even an option for you. And then once you choose your date, that will also limit the venues that are even available. Well, also well you, you can budget it. is yeah. very important too. Yeah. Um, I would say you have to think about, <clears throat> because you can't underestimate. She loves crawling around under this couch and it is so annoying. She's put so many little picks in it already. You can't underestimate the help you can get from the venue. Oh yeah. So ours has been huge help because food is through them. Mm -hmm. um, linens, tables, they do all of that stuff. And yeah, some they, some they don't. So much of the little stuff. So, you know, some venues, may, it might just be the space and you have to provide the food. Yeah. You have to provide a bartender, alcohol, you have to provide all this and that. So don't, uh, don't under, as, underestimate that because that was yeah. huge looking back. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff to factor in. There are a lot of really cool venues in Columbus though. So I figure out your budget and figure out what theme you want and then go from there and look at, and look at places and figure out, you know, pros and cons. We knew we wanted a more like rustic wedding. Um, so the places we were looking for were a lot of brick, like wood. We just wanted that more like rustic feel. So what song is your father daughter dance going to be to? Uh, Layla? <laughs> look at her. Stop it. Um, what the heck is it called? It's Fleetwood Mac. Yeah. Um, Do you have it? I don't think I have it. It honestly kind of came out of left field. My dad loves Phil Collins and I was expecting it to be a Phil Collins or Genesis song. And then it ended up being this one, which I'm super excited for. I think it's seriously planning, getting the music for everything was one of my favorite parts. Landslide? Yes, Landslide by Fleetwood Mac. That is. So Josh, you going for a drive safe and safe discount? Yep, using the app driving. Also, side note: every time I hear songs that are going to be on a wedding, now I'm like almost crying. Yeah, this is definitely one. Yeah. It's a great song too. I took my love and I took it back. Oh, I'm so excited! 
Yeah, that's a great song. Hair up or down? Up. I get way too sweaty to have it down. Mine too. <laughs> um, I won't be wearing a hat. Thing you're most excited about? We already talked about that. Uh, are you getting nervous yet? I'm getting married in 12 days also. So you have the same wedding nice. day. Nice. Very exciting. Congrats. 14th crew. I'm definitely... It's funny, on that point, uh, the lady who does my hair, her name is Dina. She's also getting married on the 14th. There's a lot of people. Which was a little interesting because now I have to get my hair cut four days out. Oh. Which is a little <laughs> bit... I wanted to get it Thursday. Yeah. Now I have to get it Tuesday, so... Yeah, it'll be fine. Maybe I'll have her cut a little bit shorter. Yeah. Can't go much shorter than zero, though. Um... Uh, nerves though, at least speaking for myself, I'm not nervous. I'm nervous. About what? I'm just nervous about the whole the whole day. Not nervous to get married. I'm just nervous. I want everything to go smoothly. Yeah. Even though I heard some great advice earlier today, uh, or not today, sorry, it was yesterday. Matt Shadon, shout out. <laughs> um, he said we're the only ones who know how the wedding is supposed to exactly. go. Exactly. So. Yeah. You know, if it goes wrong, people aren't even going to notice yeah. anyways. That's probably. what they the probably videographer that, said. You know, so. Yeah. All good. And I'm honestly, so you guys, if you've been watching the videos, you know, I had kind of like a rough two weeks. And I finally just kind of got to the point where I'm like, you know, at the end of the day, we're getting married. We mm -hmm. love each other. We're going to have Hawaii. a good time no matter what. Yeah. And then we're going to Hawaii after. So like. I'm sure something is going to go a little strange that day. Timing might be off a little bit. I'm kind of just going into it expecting that. But at the end of the day, we're still getting married. Yeah. We're happy. Hiccup's a hiccup, whatever. Yeah, it'll be fun. So I'm not nervous, honestly, at all. Um, are you getting a photo booth? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Super pumped about that. Um, who's your maid of honor? Caitlin Votino, CC Tino. Her Instagram is going to be right here. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I've posted a bunch of pictures with her, Caitlin Votino. I, she's one of my really good friends from high school, middle school, cheer. Um, yeah. College. College, yeah. Uh, are you going to be filming a wedding? Get ready with me. I will not be doing that. I might, if I'm feeling it that day, I might record a little like behind the scenes footage. But I hired a videographer. I will post like that video to YouTube once we get it. Cause we I get all the raw footage too. So yeah. So we're going to have all that. Put, put some of that together. If yeah. You want to. I might record a little behind the scenes footage, but we'll see. I'm not going to put any pressure on myself for that. Cause obviously I want to enjoy the day. Um, did your fiance show up to your bridal shower? What is their role usually? We did like a couple showers. So yeah. I was there. We had a couple shower. Um, there's no role. It was basically just like a party. <laughs> it was another engagement party, really. Pretty much. <laughs> Except with presents. with presents and, and yeah. So it was just another, very similar to the engagement party, like same people. What was your budget for the whole wedding? Are you, have you gone over it? We, so ours was kind of a weird situation. We thought we had like a, one of my mom's friends slash customers houses was going to be a venue. So we didn't necessarily set like a, strict budget right from the start because we were like we thought we were going to get this place and save some money and then it ended up not working and my dad was we we're all kind of on the same page the whole time like we wanted it to be a beautiful special day but we didn't need to go overboard with it so my dad basically didn't put any limit on it but that was because we were on the same page that like yeah. we would rather save money on the wedding to have more money towards a down payment on a home and like i don't know we stayed very like grounded with the whole thing the whole time not like i need this and this and this like he knew i was trying to save money where we could my mom did the flowers the only live flowers that are going to be there are the boutonnieres and the bouquets um no i think we did a pretty good job weddings are still really effing expensive though like mm -hmm. So expensive. $400 on stamps, guys. Yeah, four hundred. And we saw do thank you notes. Yeah. So make sure your stamp budget is uh, yeah. up to par. Um, color theme, it's just the greenery with white. How'd you build your trellis? Will you be selling it when you're done? I would love it for my wedding. I've had so many people message me asking right. if they can buy the trellis or the flowers. Yeah. Have you posted a picture of it? Yeah. It's 
and it's really sweet. Um, so we got the trellis just offline randomly. We built it and then my mom did all of the flower arrangements for it. And it's basically like, because we have to transport it there, obviously each side is completely separate, but it like, she built the whole flower arrangement so it can just like clip on and come off. We are nervous about it because obviously all of the flowers hanging on the front makes it very top heavy or like, so we're gonna figure out a way to like wrap it around the little loft area that it's sitting up against. But I, I don't know, I know my mom was talking about maybe renting some of the stuff out. We are gonna keep some of the flower arrangements to like have around our apartment and then eventually our house. Um, but I think maybe sell it, maybe rent it, I don't know. How'd you meet slash who showed interest first? So long ago, I barely remember. No, I'm just kidding. It was uh, eight years ago. So like our first time officially ago, meet, like meeting or hanging out? I don't know. Because I feel like the first time we actually met met was when you, or like actually had a conversation. Um, one of my friends in high school and one of his friends in high school were talking and she was at my house and she invited both of them over without telling me <laughs> and then was like hey so chris vogel and his friend are going to be here in like five minutes and i was like awesome <laughs> i was wearing t-shirt and shorts and they hung out and we played rock band and that that was like our yeah. first time hanging out um I don't know who showed interest first. We were neutral, I would say. Yeah. Same, same time. Are you nervous at all? I'm not. I guess yeah, he is a little. You're not nervous at all? Not yet, no. No. I'm just a, I mean, I'm, I'm honestly, nervous. I feel I'm very, like, nervous. I'm happy to not feel so down. <laughs> so that's kind of where I'm at right now. Please don't get that on this couch. Yeah, my bad. Um, how are you dealing with the stress? My wedding is in 26 days. Congrats. Congrats. Hope everything's going well. Um, kind of what I said earlier, I'm not going to lie, I was not doing <laughs> the best job dealing with the stress for like definitely a week, maybe two. Um, and it's okay. I mean, there's going to be things that come up that you can't just like force yourself to get over it. But just remember at the end of the day, it's about you and your partner and that's literally all that matters. I feel like people lose sight yeah. of that. We were kind of talking about that. It starts to oh. seem like it's about a lot of other people when at the end of the day, if you just keep it centered around, you guys are happy, you're getting married. Yeah, but if you're getting stressed about stuff you need to get done, that may be a little different. Oh, yeah. Just like what I, every time I, or we would get stressed about stuff we need to do, just Make a plan. Take a quick inventory of what needs to be done. Yeah. Write a quick plan. It'll make you feel 10 times better. Yeah. It's and right. yeah. just it's like knock, knock a couple things off. Mm -hmm. Just knock a couple things off. It'll make you feel better. Yeah. Yeah. Come up with a plan rather than just sitting there stressing about it. Figure out a way to work through it. How long did it take you to save enough money to afford the wedding? Very thankful. My dad is covering a lot of like the venue and stuff. Traditionally, it's you know like the bride's parents pay for the venue and everything, and then the groom's parents pay for alcohol and rehearsal dinner. Yeah. Which we basically just stuck to that, and we've handled a lot of the little stuff. Little stuff. So like all the gifts, all my. Um, so the credit like, card's taking a bit of a hit. <laughs> yeah. Plan, but it's fine. We got a plan. Yeah, we're we're doing good. Uh, most excited for the day of the answer to that. Are you doing any special ceremony element? Unity candle, hand, hand fasting? Is that like when you make a candle out of your hands? Holding hands together? Have you seen that before? <laughs> no. Oh. I have no idea what people, that is. People will put their hands, like they'll hold hands and they'll put it in like wax. Oh. A bunch of times and it'll make like a... Oh, cool. No, we're not doing that. We're, we're doing, doing a unity candle. Yes, we're doing a unity candle. Um, where are you getting your table decor? Love your videos. Table Whoa. decor? Like centerpieces? Yeah, my mom was making all the flowers and then we got a bunch of the other stuff just like random places. Um, we're basically... Target. Mar yeah. Uh, Target. Michaels. Mike. Michaels. Um, Hobby Lobby. Yeah. At home. At home. Bunch of different places. Of, yeah. 
And then my mom ordered basically all of the clear vases. Like I have different height vases that are gonna go all the way down the head table. And then each centerpiece of the circular tables for the guests will have a tall vase, a medium vase, and a short one with floating candles. And then the greenery and white flower arrangement around it. What are you doing for your guest slash or guest registry slash book? Bed Bath and Beyond in West um, William Sonoma, if that's what you mean. Wait, is that what? what it means? Registry book. Does that mean guest like the guest book, the sign in book, maybe? I don't know. I guess. Um, sorry, sorry, Sarah. Yeah, I don't know. If, so if you mean registry, we <laughs> registered at Bed Bath and Beyond in William Sonoma, and then as far as like the guest book, my we're having just a normal book that my mom got from Joanne's, I think, and then she also got one of those little boxes where you like sign a heart and drop the heart in, the like the frame. So we also have that. Um, ways you're trying to save money through the process. Um, fake, fake flowers. <laughs> Fake flowers, um, we... We're doing, um, the venue provides a bartender, but no alcohol, so mm -hmm. we went out and bought our own alcohol, which I'm sure is gonna save us a bunch of money. Yeah. For 250 people, or not sorry, for 150 people. I was gonna say, I was like, what? We, I mean, we probably, all in all, spending about like two grand on alcohol, and that's yeah. pretty good. They provide all the mixers, so that's a way. Um, and then just like being very price conscious as I, like when I was looking figure out what's important. Yeah. When I was looking for a dress, like I, I didn't even try on dresses that were over a certain price. Cause I'm like, I don't, it's not worth it to me. Um, I just want something that looks beautiful, but nothing extravagant and kind of just, we kept that mindset with like, yeah, stuff we figured out what was like, what we absolutely wanted. So like, I knew I wanted a videographer. So the videographer, that was a chunk of money, um, but I didn't get as high of a package for the photographer because we kind of spent. Okay, hopefully that was recording the whole time. It just turned off. Um, uh, so jewelry, at least for like, I, I got very simple jewelry. <laughs> I did not get anything crazy. I got my suit for free. Hey yo. Because uh, <laughs> the place I went, um, if you have more than five people getting a suit from your wedding party, you, you uh, the groom gets this for free. So mm -hmm. that saved a couple hundred bucks. Um, I don't know what other like... We did our own save the dates. Yeah, we so did. So Just... our save the dates <laughs> without the stamps cost like 40 bucks. Yep for a hundred of them. So that was super easy. I just did it on Photoshop. Very easy, I pasted a picture, put a, some text over it. I'm like, this is good. Also love your wooden arch. What are you doing with it after the wedding? I secretly want it. I think a lot of people want it. Uh, yeah, I'm not totally it'll go, sure. It'll go on eBay. <laughs> Chris and I will wins. sign it and it'll sell for a million dollars. No, obviously not. Quite. What are you ner most nervous slash anxious about? Uh, reading my letter to you in front of the camera. Yeah. If, I hate my voice. If there's one thing I'm so nervous about, that. it's not reading it. It's, I don't think, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through it. If we're reading, yeah. if I'm, I'm just going to be reading my own. Is that what we decided on? I feel like that's, yeah, that's what we should do. That, I mean, think about it. Like, if you're hearing this video, it would just, I feel like it makes more sense if you're reading your own too. I'll show you examples and then you can right. decide. Oh, that might be it. Yeah, I think that was it. Oh, Jake. <laughs> if your handsome trainer bought you a poncho with the Mexican flag on it, would you wear it? Probably not. I would. Chris would. I told Jake that I basically got done writing your letter today and he goes, wait a minute, letter? Can I write a letter? <laughs> I'm like, sure. I'd like to see what you have to say. <laughs> so yeah. I thought that was very funny. Um, anything else you want to add? Last, last. Me. Last like sit down video before the wedding. Uh, yeah. How have I done? That's my last question. How have you done? How have I done? Being the, the sidekick here. Good. Traditionally, you know. The, the bride takes takes the uh, 
baton and, and runs with it. How yeah. have I done as a supporting member of the team here? <laughs> You've done good. I also, I made it pretty clear from the beginning. I actually did get some questions about this, like the best advice for keeping your partner involved and like making decisions and just be upfront with them right from the start. Like, Hey, and that's what I did with him. Like, you know, I don't want to do all this by myself. Like I want this to be an enjoyable thing for both of us. So mm -hmm. when we were sending out the bridal shower invitations, he was there like through all the processes, he was there that he could every be. meeting well, I was there at every meeting. Yeah. Yes. Except for like the, the first, first one. Venue, yeah. But I couldn't be there. Mm -hmm. But good. One recommendation for people though. Don't have uh, your I was gonna give two pieces of advice. Yeah, no The first piece is don't go on your bachelor party two weeks before the wedding. Yeah, so get that not a good idea. Get that shiz uh, done way ahead of time. Because the little stuff you don't realize. You think you're done and then it gets closer and it's like, hey, we need an answer on this, 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 and this, and you're like, oh my gosh. That brings you to my second piece of advice. Don't which was something we didn't do. Um, get an email, create a new Gmail account and dedicate it to your wedding. Because there's so many things that are going on. You have, you know, you're emailing depending on how many vendors, vendors you yeah. have, photographer, videographer, DJ, uh, venue, you know, you're, you're, you're talking to many people. Um, you don't want to stick that on one person or having two people handle two different things. Get an email, yeah. dedicate it to just the wedding, yeah. so it was very clear and um, you know easy to uh, easy to read, um, and just use that. Yeah, so and that way both of you have access to get onto it too. That is my one thing that I, if we could do it all over again, I would do that first. So. Um, mm -hmm. No, that's good. Yeah. As, and and also, really take advantage of you know all of the tools that are out there. So whether you're doing wedding wire. Oh, not yeah, super really helpful. Really take advantage of those. Super helpful. You know, even as soon as finding your venue, you can go on there, uh, finding photographers, videographers, mm -hmm. uh, DJs. They are super helpful. So. And the seating chart part on the there? The seating chart is huge. <laughs> Very nice. Huge. Make, so sure, make sure you don't forget Take advantage about of those. Yeah. Get an email. Be cognizant of timing when it comes to your, uh, your bachelor party. Yes. Uh, yeah, so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the Q&A. Thank you for asking all the really good questions. And yeah, maybe we'll do like a post-wedding Q&A of like how the day went, you know. Sure. That would be kind of fun. That would be fun. Like how it went versus like what we were expecting, reality versus expectation, I guess, something like that. I don't yeah. know. Sounds good. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I don't really know what's coming next. We'll just see. I haven't been on top of recording and posting, but that's just not like my top priority right now. We've been hanging out since he got back and trying to chill, just enjoy the last. Got to finish 13 10 Reasons days. Why tonight. Let me not finish. Finish. Those episodes are so long. Yeah, but I really want to know right. what happens. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, we'll all right. I also want to say shout out to Popular <laughs> Cardio for sponsoring this video. No, stop it. What's her name again? Sarah. Abby. Abby. Abby Scott. I knew that. Check how cool this thing is. I got her iced coffee in here that was infused in her uh, infuser <laughs> with her coffee. Bye. We'll see you guys later.